Now, let us turn to the U.S. presidential election and the race for the White House. Vice President Kamala Harris and the former President Donald Trump have been trading insults at the stops along the campaign trail ahead of the November vote. Donald Trump did so at the annual Catholic charity dinner in New York, where presidential candidates traditionally roast each other lightheartedly. Kamala Harris skipped the event but did submit a video instead, delivering her attacks while campaigning in Wisconsin. Well, CBS News correspondent Jared Hill has more on this from New York. There's the potential here that the Harris campaign is just making the decision, looking at the numbers, looking at the calculus and saying that it's more important to be in one of these battleground states. Wisconsin is where she was uh, instead of appearing in person at this charity fundraiser, this charity dinner that is a tradition for political candidates to go to. Uh, although there have been times over the past couple of decades where we have seen that not be the case. But again, it was something that ended up coming up here. Uh, we know that Wisconsin is, again, one of those states that she's really hoping to lock in as she and former President Trump try and carve their way through the, the states, in particular those battleground states, to get to 270 votes to win the White House. Trading the campaign trail for a charity roast. Really a pleasure anywhere in New York without a subpoena for my appearance. Former President Donald Trump took swipes at himself Thursday night while also taking aim at Vice President Kamala Harris during the white tie dinner for Catholic charities. A tradition for presidential candidates, but the vice president opted not to attend. My opponent feels like she does not have to be here, which is deeply disrespectful. Harris instead sent this video with actress Molly Shannon as her classic Catholic schoolgirl character. Is there anything that you think that maybe I shouldn't bring up tonight? Um, well, don't lie. Thou shall not bear false witness to thy neighbor. Indeed, especially thy neighbor's election results. At a stop in Wisconsin, Harris tossed a few barbs at Trump, mocking his statement that he's the father of IVF. What does that even mean? <laughs> Earlier, Trump visited a barber shop in the Bronx while his running mate, J.D. Vance, campaigned in Pennsylvania. Harris's VP pick, Tim Walz, joined former President Bill Clinton in North Carolina on the first day of early voting. Michigan is also one of those states that's really tight. And uh, again, another one of those seven battleground states here. And it's uh, a place that also has significance um, outside of just the state vote itself, but kind of who this represents. We're talking about what's considered the Rust Belt here in the, the U.S., uh, some of these uh, more industrial, more manufacturing-based states. Uh, and the, some of the voters in the groups in a state like Michigan could also play in states like Pennsylvania, which, as we know, is going to be a really crucial one here. And so we are seeing uh, both of these candidates really trying to either lock in some of the votes in a state that is traditionally Democrat, but that former President Trump has won in the past, as well as winning over some of the, uh, the blue-collar folks, the union members in those states as well.